Good morning, children. See, today we are going to discuss ninth tapas night lesson, IIT JE Neat Foundation. In the light we discussed already in the practice sheet five, the questions. Each of the following phenomena contributes significantly to the reddish appearance of the sunlight, sunrise, scattering of light. And the sky appears to be red because see blue color is scattered away by the atmosphere. All these questions we are already discussed. The amount of light entering into the eye controlled by the iris, etc. See the wire mesh square each side. So we discussed already these questions. See, come to the practice sheet file level 2 questions. In the level 2 questions, we have multi-correct answer type questions. In the multi-correct, see more than one correct answer supposed to be the answer. See, here the 19th question if you observe. In an actual compound microscope, each of the objective and eye piece consists of a combination of several lenses instead of a single lens. In the compound microscope, basically there are two lenses will be there, objective lens and eye lens. So this combination, so this combination is instead of single lens, why you have this combination? That is the question. See, there are options like, see, the option is, if you observe, the first option is to eliminate the aberrations. And uh, second option B to increase the field of view and third option to increase the aberrations and uh, to eliminate the field of view. See in these four options, if you take aberrations are nothing but defects in the lens, defects in the lens to eliminate the aberrations only we, uh, we use objective lens and eye lens are the two different lenses see and to increase the field of view see the options if you take the eliminate the aberrations and to increase the field of view we take okay so these two lenses objective lens and eye lens so instead of single lens if you are use a single lens there are a chance of having a defects defects in the lenses to avoid that, to eliminate that, we use two different lenses. And uh, you can also increase the field of view. That is another important thing. See that the remaining two options we observe. The remaining two options. See that is to increase the aberrations is the wrong answer. And uh, similarly to eliminate the field of view is also wrong answer. So the right answer is option A and option B. Option A and uh, option B. So next question that is 20th question. See in the 20th question magnifying power of a compound microscope. Magnifying power of a compound microscope is what? See magnifying power is nothing but see magnification of objective lens into magnification of eye lens that is the first option. And uh, V0 by U0 into VE by UE, V0 by U0 plus U, VE by UE, v, VE by UE minus V0 by U0. Here VO, V0 are the, VO is nothing but, see, objective lens image distance, image distance of objective lens. V, UO is nothing but object distance of, so objective lens. VE is nothing but image distance of eye lens. And UE is nothing but object distance of eye lens. Magnifying power is nothing but. See magnifying power. So basically magnifying power is magnification of objective lens into magnification of eye lens. Magnification of objective lens is. So image distance by object distance. Image distance by object distance of eye lens. Uh, objective lens. Image distance of eye lens by object distance of eye lens. VE by UE. Hence, the options if you take. See, the options are. This is the MO into ME is the correct option. 
and VO by UO into VE by UE is the correct option. These two are the correct answers. But the remaining two are wrong options in this. So AB is the correct answer. In the previous case, AB and this is also AB only. So next question that is 21st one. Which of the following statements are true regarding the color blindness? Which of the following statements are true regarding the color blindness? See, color blindness is nothing but you are unable to recognize the different colors. That can be so. Which of the following here? The first option it can be rectified by using the concave lens. Second option it can be cured by using cylindrical lens. It cannot be cured at all. And the fourth option it arises due to the failure of particular retina of the comb. So that if you observe carefully, these two are the correct answer. Color blindness. So basically, it is a defect which cannot be cured at all. The color blindness, and it is also a failure of the retina of comb. That's why you cannot. These are the two statements about color blindness. Say next to twenty-two question. In the twenty-two question, which of the following statements are true or false about rainbow? See the rainbow. Which of the following statements are? See there is a primary rainbow. And a secondary rainbow. These are the two rainbows will be there. So the primary rainbow, red color will be the outside, violet color will be the inside. This is the wrong statement. So the primary rainbow, violet color is the outside and red color is the inside. Wrong statement. Secondary rainbow is brighter than primary rainbow. Secondary rainbow is brighter than primary rainbow. Secondary rainbow always suffers total internal reflection before. So coming out. So these are the two correct statements. Sorry, false statements. Okay. So according to this, the false statements are secondary rainbow is brighter than so primary rainbow. That is a false statement. Rainbows are two different. See, actually, if you observe carefully here, the primary rainbow red color is outside. See, red color is. Outside and violet color is inside. That is the true statement. But the question it is given false statement. That's why it is a wrong. Okay. So similarly, here also primary rainbow. See, violet color is outside and red color is inside. So that's why there is a printing mistake in this question. Actually, here there is a secondary rainbow supposed to be there. Here secondary rainbow. Otherwise, B, C, D are the correct answers. Okay, so you have to correct this. So, and next come to the statement type questions. Statement type questions. If you take, there is a state option A. Both statement are correct, and then statement true is the correct explanation of statement one. Second statement, both statements are correct, but statement two is not the correct explanation of the statement one. So third option C statement one is true, statement two is false. The fourth statement both one and two are false. These are the given options. But in this question, first question, the statement one, a beam of white light gives a spectrum on passing through the halo prism. A beam of white light. See, there is a white light giving a so there is a spectrum on passing through the prism. So this is. Uh, So whenever the light passes through the halo prism, if it is passes through the prism, it is going to form. But it is a halo prism, that's why it is a false statement. The speed of light outside the prism is different from the speed of light inside the prism. So the speed of light, see, this is actually speed of light outside the prism and inside the prism, or because it is a halo. So that is also false statement. Halo means inside and outside will be same. Okay, so that's why this is also wrong statement. So thank you very much. We'll continue in the next video.